So without further ado, please give me a hand in welcoming Comdex representative, Mr. Siddharth Patel. Hi, everyone. Excited to see you all here. Um, I'm Sadat. I represent Comdex. And I'm just going uh, to be here talking to you guys about what Comdex is doing to bring DeFi to the Cosmos ecosystem. So quickly, what is Comdex? Um, we're building a DeFi infrastructure layer for Cosmos, essentially making it easy for anyone who wants to build DeFi on Cosmos. Um, and the way we do that is by building out a whole ecosystem of solutions that bring DeFi to the ecosystem. But in the long run, our aim is not just to stop at DeFi, but to integrate DeFi and CeFi so that users on either sides of DeFi and CeFi are able to access yields and assets from the other side. So we built, we built out the Comdex chain to begin with and focused on a modular structure for the chain. And these modules are basically inspired by some of the primitives that you see prevail in traditional finance and DeFi today. I mean, primarily, we have collateralization, which enables generation of debt or liquidity against any asset of value. But that being said, when you talk about assets of value, typically assets of value also take forms of like real estate, houses, commodities, and things of that sort. And it's not often easy to move these assets around. So much like in traditional finance, these assets, are, ownership of these assets is often represented by documentation, which is essentially tokenization of those assets. And that's one of the key primitives we also focus on on the Comdex chain. And what good are assets if you're not able to exchange them and move capital freely between them? And that's why we also focused on building AMM and P2B-based exchanges, which will allow the exchange of all of these assets. So these are kind of the core modules that the Comdex chain is built on. And we now want to help builders use these modules in a very plug-and-play fashion to kind of deliver, deliver DeFi applications to Cosmos. So Comdex has started building its own ecosystem of solutions as well when it comes to DeFi. So I'm going to get into what each of these applications are in, in about a minute. But this is just to give you an idea that the focus of Comdex is not just to create one application, but a whole series of applications that are interoperable and help builders who are building these applications to leverage the true capabilities of composable DeFi. So we have all of these applications. I'm, I'm going to get into what they are in about a minute. But as you can see, each of these applications is, utilizes different modules on the Comdex chain. And they're able to achieve their functions by using these modules, which are pretty much inspired by the structures of transactions in traditional finance, which you pretty much see in DeFi as well. So let's talk about the first app that Comdex launched with, um, the enterprise trading application. So this was a B2B uh, trading app meant for physical commodities trading, allowing institutional users to trade physical commodities on the chain. What we're able to do with this application is tokenize real-world commodity assets on chain and allow exchange of these assets between these players. By tokenizing these commodity assets, we're able to bring off-chain assets of value on-chain and bring value to the overall DeFi ecosystem by allowing these assets to be interoperable within all of DeFi that exists. C-Asset, which is our synthetics protocol that's also coming live soon. On C-Asset, we want to enable DeFi investors to take speculative exposure to various synthetic assets. And um, for those of you that don't know synthetics, synthetics are essentially derivatives on the blockchain. So we want to enable DeFi investors to provide liquidity and have access to you know, derivatives of commodities, derivatives of assets that don't exist on chain, but you can track the prices for them. So it becomes a great speculative and hedging tool. Harbor Protocol is the next of the series of applications we're working on. Um, most of you would be familiar with uh, what happened with UST recently. And most of us, especially in the Cosmos ecosystem, know this all too well because uh, we relied heavily on the UST stablecoin. So at Comdex, we always believe that part of it having a thriving DeFi ecosystem is to have a robust stablecoin at the center of it. So we've actually been working on our stablecoin called Composite for the past few months, uh, which is an over-collateralized stablecoin built for IBC. Um, and Harbor is the protocol that manages and maintains it. We are also building Komodo, which is a lending borrowing application meant for uh, you know, creating lending and borrowing yield for DeFi assets. And finally, a, an exchange to en enable the exchange of all of these assets on chain. So as you can see here, um, sorry, I also forgot ShipFi. 
which is another asset that we're, uh, another application that's coming live on the Comdex chain later this year. Here, we're actually truly taking our focus on CFI to the next step. Because once we focus on creating the DeFi liquidity until now, through ShipFi, we want to enable financing of real world commodity assets through on chain liquidity. The way we do this is by allowing users to uh, collateralize real world commodity assets and generate liquidity and DeFi against them to earn yield from real world assets, which are sustainable and have inherent tangible value. Zenscape is, is part of the validator arm of, com, of the Comdex ecosystem, and this is something we've also start of, started off recently uh, in order to strengthen our efforts to build relations across the ecosystem and provide security services to uh, other chains in the ecosystem as well. So broadly, this is where our ecosystem is at today. We have one application live, one on DevNet, two on Testnet, and a couple more coming later this year. But what are we really trying to achieve here? Going back to what we, where we started, it's all about bringing DeFi to Cosmos. Now, all of us who, I mean, some of us here who probably deal with the Cosmos ecosystem are all too familiar that uh, when it comes to generating yield for any assets in the Cosmos ecosystem today, your, your avenues are kind of restricted down to LPing on a couple of DEXs. Uh, there's a few lending borrowing applications out there, but we haven't seen DeFi as a whole prevail in Cosmos. And part of it comes down to the lack of composability in the DeFi. Um, a lot of DeFi that we have seen built in Cosmos so far kind of exists in silos, uh, but we really want to focus on the composability of it all. And, and composability in DeFi becomes the name of the game. So what you can see behind me might look complicated, but essentially what I'm trying to tell you is um, composable DeFi will enable you to leverage on your crypto assets and take exposure in various different ways, whether it's to leverage up, whether it's to earn yield from lending, whether it's to collateralize your assets, whether it's to borrow against them, uh, you could provide liquidity on DEXs, and all of this is possible when there's a whole DeFi ecosystem which is interoperable, and that's what we're working towards. And one of the key efforts that we want to take at Comdex to build this DeFi ecosystem for Cosmos is to promote builders who build DeFi on Cosmos. And the way we do that, at least as a part of our effort, is to work directly with these teams and we'd like, we also incentivize these teams with you know, part of our ecosystem dev fund, which is 12.5% of all our tokens. But essentially what we want to do is reach out to founders who want to build um, DeFi on Cosmos and, and enable them to do so with the technological support as well as uh, networking support from the CFI side of things. So that's, that's Comdex and um, that's primarily our mission to bring DeFi to Cosmos. Thank you.